What is up everyone? It is another beautiful, absolutely flawless day right here in Bocas del Toro, Panama. Been here for about eight days to celebrate my birthday, get out, shoot a little bit. But today we are talking protecting your investment, that being your camera and more specifically your camera lens. Basically, there's a few different ways that you can do this. One, you can just have the lens cap on the camera at all times in your bag, as you guys probably know and have experienced firsthand. Lens caps are pretty shit when it comes to, one, staying on in your bag if your bag's you know, being jumbled around or you're traveling. Two, protecting your lens from dirt, sand, water, any of the elements or anything like that and um, it's just not a super great way to do it, but it's what your camera comes with, so we're just here to give you a couple alternatives to a lens cap. The next thing that you can do to protect your investment is a UV filter. When you always have this on there, if for whatever reason something from outside elements, sand, wind, well not necessarily wind, but if the wind blows something into your lens and it's gonna scratch it, it is going to scratch this little guy first, keeping the actual lens itself perfectly intact. Uh, this is the UV filter from Polar Pro. And then with this, what you can do is you can stack filters. And what I have here is I have an 82 millimeter ND8. Let's see if this will focus. I have an ND8 here from Polar Pro, and what we can do is simply just screw one of these onto the other, pop this on your camera just like this with the two of them, and now you have not only the UV to cut through some of those harsh rays of the sun as well as seeing uh, into the water with minimal glare, but you also have the ND8, ND16, whatever tickles your fancy in regards to filters. But the main reason why I'm making this video and the reason that I am down here is to put this guy right here, boom, this right here through the ringer. This is the Polar Pro Defender. Essentially, it is a weather sealed lens cover. I have been in the jungle this week, I have been on the beach, I have been in the water, and I have not had a lens cap on here. I have had the Defender protecting this lens throughout it all, as well as this stacked filter set up here. First impressions, amazing. It's, uh, it's very light, it's, you, know, it's, you can move it, it fits in your bag well, but it takes the place of this lens cap. So the best part about it is when it's in your bag, you don't have to worry about it falling off. It's made of this really great rubber material, so what's cool is just pop it on the front of your lens just like this, and then what you do is you just can either twist it off or just pull it right off. It's sealed pretty tight around the ring of the front of the lens, especially if you have a couple filters on there, so you don't have to worry about sand getting in there, you don't have to worry about dust and all sorts of other shit that might be floating around in your bag that you're unaware of. Even though the sides of this are pretty flexible in order to stretch around the lens, uh, the best part about it is the front of the lens, the most important part, the glass, is gonna be protected by this ABS plate that is inside of here. So it's very rigid, so whenever you're traveling, throwing lenses around, this and that, as long as you have the caps on the back, I, I've, I don't have a very good bag, and when I've been traveling out of the country, across borders, people are throwing my shit all over the place. This thing has been wonderful in regards to protecting the front of the lens, protecting my filters, and it's just an overall great alternative to a lens cap. Uh, I will say the only downside to this is if you don't currently own any filters, then you're more than likely gonna be shooting with a lens hood. But when you put this on your lens, you're not gonna be able to put the Defender over the lens hood to help protect the lens, so just be conscious of that. But highly recommend picking up some filters, that way a lens hood essentially is just obsolete. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. All the links to the Defender and both of these filters, as well as all of the other filters from Polar Pro are gonna be in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment of things you wanna see in the future. Thumbs up if you love the video, thumbs down if you didn't. I'm probably not gonna pay much attention to this. Again, I am JT Wise Guy. It is another beautiful day. And don't forget, stay creative, everyone.